What's up, everybody? It's me, Denshi. I'm going to open the blinds so I get as much sun in my eyes as possible while I talk to you about Twitter.com, Snapchat, Instagram, why I don't use any of these websites and how I've been able to avoid them so far. So a lot of people, you go on their YouTube channel, right? And they always have a little link that says, you know, the blue little bird and says Twitter or one which says Instagram, whatnot. I don't have that. Why? Well, it breaks down to a few fundamental things which are not fine with those websites. So the big one most people tend to talk about is this ever elusive recommendation algorithm. So most websites, you go on it, right? And you're meant to be showing like user posts, right? You're meant to be seeing all these posts by users, which are being displayed to you by an algorithm, a system which supposedly should show you quote unquote relevant posts. Now, Apart from the fact that this can be, you know, modified and turned biased by anybody, especially on a website which tends to be politically sensitive like Twitter, tends to be sensitive about opinions and people's like relations and stuff like that. Um, the other problems arise in the fact that fundamentally, right, it's a website which wants to incentivize people to spend as much time on it as possible, which, you know, you don't need me to say it. That's not a good idea to waste time away on websites like that. So the problem is, is that the way this happens is by creating a recommendation algorithm, which knows everything, everything that goes on in your head. And it's really, really creepy. The same thing goes for YouTube. Now, if that was the only problem, right? If the only problem was this like ununderstandable AI that is fed your information to recommend you posts and it's really, really creepy and you shouldn't be using it, then I mean, that wouldn't really be a problem because you could just introduce legislature and law which restricts it and then people would stop using it or they, like what happens now with YouTube, I don't know about Twitter, but on YouTube, you could just disable this. You can just disable all recommendations and your front page will look the exact same every time you reload it. That's what I do whenever I go to the website. So you can get rid of this recommendation system to some extent. I don't know about those other websites, but you can get rid of it. I think it's a legal requirement in Europe as well. The problem arises from something different, from problem number two, which is culture. The sort of culture that this recommendation algorithm generates in people, the sort of culture which any kind of website where people are incentivized to spend as much time on it as possible seems to foster, is one that is obsessed uh, with posts and retweeting and liking and whatnot as a form of like online interaction, which is uh, supposedly better than just talking to people in private about their opinions or about what they think. This is sort of like a seismic shift I've seen in society overall, right? People seem to be obsessed with talking to others in a public manner. So let's say, you know, you went up to somebody and were like, dude, that's like the worst thing you've ever said ever, like in private, in somebody's room. Like you should not have said that at the dinner table. You shouldn't have said this. This is a bad opinion. This is why, this is why I think this is a disrespectful thing to do. And you have a private discussion with them about why it's bad. You know, that's what most people normally will do when somebody does something bad. The Twitter user, Twitter user is different. The Twitter user wants this to be public, a public outcry. And that's what Twitter is, right? You reply and have chains of replies and likes and retweets and whatnot that make what would otherwise be quite private conversation public. And yeah, people often use it as a means of expose. But that ignores the fact that before Twitter, there were plenty of exposés done, which were just release of private documents. Let's say I knew a bunch of information on somebody like a criminal or someone that I wanted to expose on the internet. Like I knew somebody who was a high profile individual um, and they were a criminal. Now, most people seem to go to Twitter nowadays to post it because it is a community that is so obsessed with this form of like expository dialogue, like expository dialogue, dialogue between people that is focused on being as transparent, not just between the two people, right? But for everyone, which ironically makes the conversation between the two people less transparent, but maybe that's a topic for another day. Uh, but I'm getting pretty abstract here, but you get the idea, right? People have conversations on Twitter that should be had in private, when in reality, they're doing them in an environment that is public. And that opens up the door to a culture which fosters the incitement of what some would call drama of conflict. And that's my biggest problem with Twitter probably. Now, the other problems allude to stuff like people wasting lots of time on it, like with all other social media. That's the same thing with YouTube. I mean, don't waste your time watching too many Denshi videos, okay? I don't, I don't wanna be responsible for kids like wasting their time watching my videos instead of doing something else. I feel really bad if that's what's happening. Although I don't think that's happening since I don't think, you know, people are really obsessed with watching, binge watching Linux tutorials, right? Although who am I to 
who am I to say? Um, but fundamentally, Twitter is wrong because it's something which people use as a form of social expression when in reality it's one of the most anti-social websites ever. Now, how does, how does this link to Instagram, Pleroma, Snapchat, whatnot? Well, I've never used Snapchat. I don't really know how it works. But something like Instagram is kind of similar. I think you post like images and people reply to it. It's the same sort of design. And Mastodon and Pleroma, which people often bring up in my comment section as alternative to Twitter, those have the exact same problem. And in fact, every social media website that fosters this sort of connection between all users to view each other as people where you can have private discussions in public is very wrong. So sorry if that was a bit of a confused video, but really what it boils down to is this idea of people using these websites to have what would otherwise be said in private in public. And I want to, before I end this video, right, I want to link this back to one thing, which is unironically a link, my website, you can go to denshi.org. There's my shameless promotion of my website, right? You can go there and you can read articles about computers, about uh, things like education, whatnot. And there's a link at the bottom of all my articles where you can click reply to. When you click the reply to, you can write me a letter, you can write me an email, that explains your opinions on my article and I will reply to all those emails. I reply to every single one uh, and I plan on replying to every single one in the future. So if you watch this video till the end, that's your reward. You get to send me a free email. All emails are free. But, you know, that's why I don't use Twitter. Simple as that. Goodbye.